And action. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It is going great. It's Easter weekend, so people are uh, having, of course, still safe uh, family events. If, uh, if they've had the vaccine, then uh, it's uh, signs have shown that you can get together with a reasonable sized group of people without spreading the virus. But if you haven't yet, still be safe and uh, great weather. Right, great weather here in Washington too. Um, that's great to hear. And uh, happy Easter weekend. We got some YouTube celebrity gossip news, so let's get to work in. Here we go. Chris and Tommy. Hey, this is Tommy Dream, and you're watching Top Level Media. Hi, I'm Rhino, and this is Top Level Media. Welcome back, everyone. So. Uh, we got some news that's trending and uh, that's hot right now. Tommy, what do you got for this week? Okay, I know that this is a happy time for a lot of people because it's spring and Easter and stuff. But unfortunately, uh, a young lady, Lee, of age 28, who uh, has been making YouTube videos and stuff for a while, um, has passed away at the age of 28. Uh, so those who are watching who do not know she is, she is a uh, person on Instagram and YouTube. She uh, used to make videos with her ex-boyfriend, uh, Max, and they would travel the world and share their adventures of places they visited, people they met. Um, after that, uh, after they broke up, she uh, met up with uh, two Canadians, uh, Eamon and Beck, and traveled with them for a while. And also started in this uh, around this time, she started her own YouTube channel called uh, Life with Lee. Um, and throughout this whole time, she wasn't shy about sharing uh, her deals with uh, mental illness and depression. She was open about it. She had been seeking health about uh, help about it. Her friends and family knew about it, and she was doing her best to uh, you know to fight. Uh, the urges. Uh, she had admitted to being, uh, before she passed away, being suicidal, uh, but at the same time she wasn't like, oh, I'm going to actually just go do it. Um, but just like anyone else, this can be serious and uh, people can succumb to mental illness. She had been receiving a lot of comments before this were negative and it just was impacting her. Um, because you know she had been dealing with uh, her mental illness and depression. So just imagine someone like you and me, Chris, who aren't dealing with severe depression, you know, getting negative comments, that is pretty hurtful, but to someone like her, it is multiplied by 10 times. Well, she was uh, near San Bernardino um, when she basically went in front of a movie train and lost her life and was determined by the cops of San Bernardino um, um, later on, uh, uh, this happened on uh, Friday, last Friday, uh, March 26, not this fr Friday, but the Friday before that, uh, had determined that she had um, committed suicide. And it was, a, and she was identified as a young woman uh, who had um, been hit by the train. Um, so her friends and family have started to go fund me. We'll have a link down to that. And the purpose of this go fund me is not to pay for her uh, her, fun her funeral arrangements or anything like that. It's to raise money to give to organizations, give to um, events and stuff that gives, brings awareness to mental illness. That's really sad to hear that how she ended her life. Uh, I think that um, you can't really do anything about mental illness. It's a depression that, uh, that really is... Um, hard to overcome unless you get the right help. She was trying to get the help, but that wasn't good enough. Our thoughts and prayers go out to her family. Uh, she seemed like she was doing very well, like in the other articles, um, but uh, at the same time, it just wasn't, like Chris said, it just wasn't, uh, for her, it just wasn't enough. Um, and also, uh, her family wants people to know that they're not alone, 
that you know seek help if you need help and as well as other people that knew her other travel youtubers other van lifers that knew her because that's what was the part of the community that her boyfriend were part of and also she when she was a solo uh youtuber um and this was posted on instagram that her family um made this available to the public to know that how she had passed away. Um, we'll also leave down in the description, uh, besides the story, also there'll be a number that could call for you in the US if you're feeling suicidal. We'll also have some uh, links to um, some online services so where you can seek help with counseling, because even right now, um, it's still very hard to see someone in person. If you see, if you know someone who has suicidal tendencies or you're feeling suicidal, there's a hotline and there's counseling of options out there. Moving on, Tom, we have DMX. DMX uh, basically is not doing so well, Tommy. Sad news about DMX is that he uh, had an overdose, triggered a heart attack, Tommy, to where He's in um, the hospital and he's in ICU. He's not doing so well. Last year in 2020, he uh, was going to get help and he did get the help and then he checked out of um, getting help and then he made his return on stage. So right now it's not going so well for him right now. OD was the heart attack. I mean, that is very sad um, that he also is dealing with uh, mental health issues and he's resorting to drugs um, to make himself feel better. That's something that a lot of people uh, will do who are uh, depressed, who, who do suffer from depression, will uh, resort to um, hard drugs to make himself feel better. Um, and I know that, uh, you know, he's a very popular uh, singer. Um, uh, very well known. Uh, a lot of people in the music industry know who, who he is. So it's very sad that he had to, you know, was on the men's, but then had a relapse. So Tommy, um, he did also, you know, um, perform in 2020 against Snoop Dogg uh, last year. So um, he was in good health when he got back on stage to do his thing with Snoop Dogg and over 500k saw this uh, battle that he did and Snoop Dogg did and it was quite good. I mean that is incredible. He was able to uh, do that with Snoop Dogg um, and uh, I know Snoop Dogg's actually talked about uh, him his relationship with DMX and also his own personal um, battle with uh, depression too recently right. right a lot of people are having issues with depression um this pandemic has not been easy be strong and if you feel yourself slipping away from people you love um seek help and also check in with people from time to time right and also talk to somebody that you love um you got friends hopefully you have family out there that will listen um even if it's a neighbor that you get along with or a coworker, talk to them. It really does help. That's all the news that we have. Tommy, what can people do? They can click the subscribe button. After that, you can ring that notification bell, let you know when we post up new videos. I'm sure it'll make it hit all. Uh, leave a thumbs up, helps out in the algorithm. And uh, share it with your friends and family. All right. And this has been a top level media. Stay safe out there. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.